after watching the Super Mario Bros. movie? Universal, you saved my childhood! So, so yeah, this movie really saved my childhood. Anyway, guys, hey guys, it's Mike Plus Bell back again, and today, guys, and before I start this review, guys, I know, guys, I know that I haven't made a review in three weeks. Reason why? Because I was so busy at work and all that, and I didn't have any time to make um, any reviews or anything like that eventually, but the good thing is I'm on my lunch break, so why not to review on the Super Mario Bros. movie, came the year of 2023. I cannot wait to review on how amazing this movie is, which this movie, it, it saved my childhood from the disaster 1993 movie. So, anyways, guys, let's get to the plot. So, basically, what the plot is, it tells the story about uh, Mario and Luigi uh, doing their stuff, um, as always. And in the beginning of the film, um, they played the, the intro of where the Mario Bros, the Mario Bros plumbing. And then, um, and then, um, uh, later on, and then, um, uh, later on, you guys, um, Mario and Luigi went to, um, this, um, this pipe, this, um, green pipe, and then they got separated while, um, Mario got transferred to Princess Peach's castle, while, um, Luigi went to, um, Bowser, and then, um, uh, when Mario realized that, um, that, um, Luigi's been kim kidnapped, kidnapped, um, Mar um, Princess Peach actually, um, trained Mario to become, um, to become, to become strong, if you guys seen the movie, you guys know what I mean. So it's up to uh, Mario, Preach, uh, Princess Toad, and the rest of the game to team up to defeat, to rescue Luigi, and defeat Bowser, and save the, and also team up with Donkey Kong as well, and save the Mushroom Kingdom. And that's basically what the plot is of this amazing brewing masterpiece. Now, guys, now back on 30 years ago, we have that disaster 1993 Mario movie, which, oh, God, that was the worst video game movie I have ever seen in the 24 years of my life, period. So, so yeah, and I remember when the, and I remember, now, here's the thing, guys, and I remember when, when this movie was first announced, you guys, I said to myself, Universal, you better not, you better not goof this one. If you goof this movie, I'm officially done playing the Mario games for the rest of my life. So, so yeah, and I remember when, when the movie was first now, which I was so nervous, you guys. I was so, so, so nervous to death of how awful the 1993 movie was. And then, um, and when they announced that, um, Chris Pratt was going to be in the movie, now, here's the thing, though, guys, a lot of people were really upset that Mario was going to be, that Chris Pratt was going to voice Mario, and at the time, I said, I said to myself, oh, okay, we'll see how this goes, I love Chris Pratt, and yes, guys, I do love Chris Pratt, he's best known for playing as Star-Lord in Guards of the Galaxy, um, Elm and Emmett for the Lego for the Lego movie, which, sadly, guys, Lego movie 2, sadly, flop at the box office, which kind of stinks, but the way how they end the Lego movie 2, they did it a perfect ending, so anyway, so anyways, and then, um, when I heard that Jeff Black was going to play Bowser in the movie, I was, I was like, oh my goodness, he's supposed to be good, so yeah, and then, and then when we got, um, the teaser trailer for the movie, which, believe it or not, guys, I actually watched the teaser trailer, um, live, um, on Nintendo Direct, and I remember that Alejandro did the Alejandro Dakota group chat, group podcast, so, yeah, and, and, and then I saw this movie on opening night, on opening day, on April 5th, and guys, I have to say this, Universal, if you're watching this, thank you for saving my childhood from the disaster 1993 movie. So, yeah, so, anyway, guys, now, let's get started with, um, the story of the movie. The story of the movie was actually pretty great. I actually really love the, the story of the movie. The story of the movie. Now, yes, we have heard the movie thousands of times, like, that piece of crap, the wild movie, which I don't want to talk about that movie. But the way how they did it, did it in a really clever way. They did a really good job. And the anime, and now, guys, now, let's talk about the animation. Oh, my fucking God. The animation looks amazing, and not only that, guys, this is by the best-looking animation I've ever 
scene for Gloomer Nation Entertainment movie in history since the very first movie they ever made, The Spickle Me from 2010. So yeah, and so yeah, and the animation, oh my god, the, the animation is so beautiful to look at. So anyway guys, so now let's get started with um the characters. We have Mario played by the legendary actor Chris Pratt. Now at the time you guys, I thought the actor who played Mario from the Mario video games was gonna be in this movie, but but when I heard that Chris Pratt was going to play Mario, I was like, oh, okay, we'll see how this goes. And the way how he did Mario, he did a fantastic job playing as Mario. And also, we have um, Luigi played by um Charlie Day, um who is um best known uh, for playing as um R in uh, in Monsters University. He did a really fantastic job. And not just that, guys. This was actually this is a joke, guys. This is actually my second Charlie Day movie that I ever saw. In Yes, first was Monster University 10 years ago, and now 10 years later, I saw this movie. Yeah, kind of crazy. And also, we have, um, and also, um, we have, um, Princess, um, Peach, which I can tell that, um, the actress who played it is having a wonderful time playing the character. And we, and then, uh, we have Donkey Kong played by the legendary actor Seth Rogen. I have to say this, he did an amazing job in Donkey Kong, and I did the best line that he did in the entire movie, that was when he said, okay, now you die, bam, and yes, guys, and if you guys have seen my, okay, now you die meme video that I did, with the why you're not today, sir, and then it's up and screaming his head off, and then he blows up, yeah, that one video was so freaking funny, believe it or not, guys, thank you guys so much for 1,500 views on that video, thank you guys, so anyway, so anyway, guys, and let's get into um Bowser, played by the legendary actor Jack Black, which believe it or not, guys, which I wasn't shocked that Jack Black was going to return in this movie because originally, guys, he was originally supposed to retire from acting due to um his music career, but but the way how he did, but the way how he returned to the big screen four years later after Jumanji on um, the next level, which this is going to shock to all of you guys. I never, ever seen Jumanji the next level. That's right. I never seen Jumanji the next level. I have seen the original, the one with Robin Williams, and I have seen uh, Welcome to the Jungle from 2017, but I never saw the next level yet. I might get that movie on duty soon in the future along with along with Welcome to the Jungle, but I heard that movie's really freaking good, so, so, yeah, and not only, the, and I have to say this, guys, this is not to be by one of Jack Black's best performances he ever did in this movie since, um, Poe from Kung Fu Panda, and Seth Rogen, this is by uh, one of his best performances he did since, um, Pumbaa from the Lion King remake, and Frank from Sausage Party, now, don't get me wrong, guys, I do like Sausage Party, that was a really funny movie in my personal opinion, so, yeah, and we also have, um, and also, we also, we have, um, Toad, which Toad is a really amazing character. So, anyway, guys, now, let's get to talk about my favorite scenes I had with this movie. Um, I do love, um, the opening of the movie with the Mario Brothers, which, believe it or not, that actually kind of reminds me of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, which this is going to shock to all of you guys. I haven't seen that movie in so many years. That's right. I haven't seen that show in so many years. The last time I watched that show was on Netflix back in 2011. Same year that I saw that piece of crap Mario movie. So, anyways, guys, and I also do remember on the Mario, the Super Mario World show. I remember I used to watch the show on Netflix, and my and you guys already, and I think you guys know what's the best episode of the Super Mario World um TV series, and that is the Mama Luigi episode. Was that episode actually became a meme later on? So yeah, I love that episode to death. That is actually my favorite. That's actually the best episode of the entire series. So anyway. So anyways, and so anyways, now let's get into um some of the other scenes. I do love the other scenes um in the movie, which I much my favorite scenes that I love in the movie is uh Mario versus Donkey Kong when um uh, Mario turned into Cat Mario, which that was actually really freaking cool. Um the other scenes that I do love in the movie is um the scene when um Princess Peach trained on uh, Mario. I really love that scene because it remind me that it remind, it remind me of the video games and and the climax of the movie is really a freaking cool. I really love the climax in this movie. And I also forgot to mention, um, 
And also, um, now where Luigi wasn't in the movie that much, he was only in a few scenes due to the scene uh, due to the fact that um that um he was kidnapped by Bowser. And also, I do love that um that blue star, that blue um star, which I forgot what the character's name was, but he was freaking adorable. Even I love the penguins from the mo- from the opening of the movie, and. And and yes, the climax of the movie it it blew my freaking mind. I really love this. I really love the climax. And the best scene of the entire movie has to be the Rainbow World Mario Kart scene. When I saw that movie, I when I saw that scene, I was blown away. It blew my freaking mind. So so yeah, and not only that, guys, the animation of the Rainbow World they did a fantastic job with the movie. So. So yeah, and there was and there was also another scenes that I really want to talk about, but I don't want to get into spoilers. So yeah, and the way how they ended the movie, they defeat Bowser and they save the Mushroom Kingdom. And I to say, and I have to say this at the end of the movie, I just clapped and I almost cried tears of joy of how of how amazing this movie was. And I have to say this, you guys, throughout all the Lumber Nation movies that I saw this movie, that I saw in my lifetime, this is actually now official. My, my, the best Lumber Nation movie I have ever seen in my life. I love this movie to death. And believe it or not, guys, what a big coincidence that I'm going to go see this movie a couple weeks again in theaters. But this time with my girlfriend, my girlfriend is really excited for this movie. So, so yeah, so yeah. And, so yeah, and if you're wondering what was my favorite Illumination movie of all time before the Mario movie, I think it was Minions: The Rise of Gru. I think I couldn't remember. There was a lot of good movies, and and here's the thing, guys. Now, when it comes to Illumination Entertainment movies, um, um, two YouTubers I know. There was actually two YouTubers I know who hates on um, the movies like Hop, um, Minions: The Rise of Gru, The Secret of the Pets One and Two, and that is um. Nick Cage 2001 and Frozen 2 2004, which I can handle their opinions on the movie. Now, as the Grinch, you guys, um, they actually hate the movie, which personally, guys, I don't blame them for that. Which I don't hate Grinch, don't get me wrong, guys. It's the movie is good, but personally, guys, I prefer recommend and watch the 1966 Grinch cartoon and the Jim Carrey version, which I don't blame them. So, yeah, but anyways. So yeah, and I have to say this, you guys. This is actually a bit. It's this big confirmed that this movie is now officially my new favorite Lumber Nation movie of all time, and I love this. And I actually love this movie even more. Saying too, how do you think about that movie, just by gaming? Bah! So yeah, so all of that, guys. The Super Mario Bros. movie is a fantastic, amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And I have to say this, guys. This movie was definitely worth the 30 years of the wait, you guys. And I am more than happy to get this movie, to get this, um, to get this movie a, a, a trillion out of ten with the seal of approval. I really love this movie, you guys. I, I really do. I was blown out of my freaking mind that I saw this movie in the theaters, and, and Universal, and throughout the, and throughout all the cast who made this movie. I want to say a big message. Thank you. For saving my childhood from the 1993 movie. I thought that we were not going to get a good Mario movie. But it was worth the 30 years of the wait. Thank you Universal. And after seeing on Princess Peach's Castle in the Mushroom Kingdom. That really made me want to go to Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios. Which I haven't been there yet. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. But I really want to go there so bad. That's the thing that I want to do first when I go to Universal Studios Hollywood the next time I go. So, so yeah, so all that guys, that's my review on the Super Mario Bros. movie. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, like and share your friends. And Alejandro, um, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry that I haven't done group chat in a long time. It's just, I haven't done, I haven't done make any reviews in three weeks, you guys, because I was so busy with work. But don't worry guys, I promise you guys that my reviews are going to be coming back, you guys. My, I, I'm, I'm going to return with another review on Thursday. On Thursday, just so you guys know, if you guys want what's going to be my next review, it's going to be the most wonderful Marvel movie I have ever seen in my life, and that is Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which, believe it or not, what a big coincidence, I actually got that movie on DVD for Easter, on Easter, you guys. Now, here's the thing, guys, the reason why that I haven't, I have not reviewed, um, the reason why that I have not reviewed, um, 
I mean, um, the reason why I haven't done any DVD updates, you guys, is because, um, if you guys remember my DVDs, um, back in January, you guys, I've been getting a lot of scooby doos recently with my with my rapid prepay card like that i use for, for for work and ever since then guys when i looked at my dvds i had around like 20 dvds i haven't even watched yet but the good thing is guys my dvd updates are going to be coming back very soon you guys the only dvds i need to watch now is um is um Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated season one? I'm on the final DVD, you guys. I'm I need to watch um He Man and the Masters of the Universe and Avatar: The Last Airbender. Now I also do have some other two DVDs I have that I need to watch, like um like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 198 the 19 um 90 TV series, and of course um Rugrats. But unfortunately, guys, the Rugrats DVD and the Ninja Turtles DVD it's going to take me forever to finish those DVDs because the rug, my Rugrats DVD box set is freaking huge, you guys, and uh, and along with my with, uh, and along with my Ninja Turtles DVD. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is that after I finish watching um Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated, He Man and the Masters of the Universe, and Avatar: The Last Airbender, the full series, I'm going back to return DVD updates, you guys. That's right. But here's the thing, guys. As of right now, you guys. I'm going to buy some movies, but unfortunately, guys, I'm not going to buy any TV series until I finish the entire series of Ninja Turtles, of Ninja Turtles and Rugrats. But as, but as for um, Rick and Morty Season 6 DVD, I will get that DVD eventually, guys. I hope you guys understand that. So, anyway, guys. So anyway, guys. So and Alejandro, if you're watching this, like I said again, I'm um I'm going to take a, a hiatus away from doing our for doing our podcast i hope you understand because i really want to get back to making reviews you guys because i haven't done reviews in a super long time you guys the last review i did was halloween ends back in october and then for some reason some weird glitch happened to my to my phone and then i and then due to that i had to cancel my christmas movie month reviews and then after that i didn't got back making reviews until i did my review on while i crocodile and this is the second review i've done this year so, I hope you understand, Alejandro, because I really want to get back to making my reviews and my rants. Hope you understand, bro. So, anyway, guys, that's my review on the Mario movie. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, like and share, friends. And I have to let you guys go because I have to go back to work in a few minutes. It, it's 1.20 in my area, so I have 10 minutes before I have to go back to work. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys next time. Until next time, goodbye! Or, or should I say... Or should I say, let's go!